Hello everyone, my name is Small King, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some Team Fight Tactics. Uh, Team Fight Tactics is a auto chess game that was made by League of Legends or Riot Games, which is based around League of Legends. Uh, League of Legends, well, look, if you played games for long enough, you know what League of Legends is. I don't need to go over it. But let's just get started. Uh, today we're gonna be playing on hype. We're gonna, actually gonna be playing on a normal mode, and uh, let's just see how we do. I hope this game goes pretty well. Um, we'll see what comp we end up in, and then we can go that comp. Let me just press the accept button. We're gonna minimize this. So my apologies. It might take a moment. Just to display, but it's all good. There we go. Alright, so I am the uh, goodest at duck bill, highlighted by my yellow name. Uh, here is everyone's levels and stuff. These are league levels or TFT levels because some people only play TFT. I'm level 267, most of which has come from League of Legends. But yeah, let's get started with this. This will be interesting. Alright, I'm a little duck. Let's go. Let's go. I got a good I got a pretty good unit to start this game off with. Uh it's TFT. Auto battler or an auto chess game. You position your units on this board. Uh as you level up you gain more units and all of the units in the game have a trait. And when you have certain a uh, certain number of traits, you gain a bonus. So Ziggs here, this little this little rat dude, he's a Yordle. So he has bonuses. He's a he's a Yordle, a Scrap, and an Arcanist. So he gets bonuses with Scrap with with he has the Scrap bonus, which is displayed here, the Arcanist bonus, which is displayed here, and the Yordle bonus, which is displayed here. Uh, we're not actually gonna play Ziggs. We only did that to get the item off him, because there's also items in this game. Uh, they make items, you can combine two components to make an item, and then put it on the champion. Uh, there are some good items, there are some bad items. Uh, Poppy, now this is Poppy, she's a bodyguard and a Yordle, which probably displays what we're going. We're going to go for the Yordle bonus. But that's all right. We the Yordle, Yordles are pretty good. I mean, they're a little weak early game, but it's fine. All right, and we have just achieved the Arcanist bonus or Arcanist. I have never really figured that out. Uh, but what it does is that when I have two Arcanists, I gain my both of them. Both of them gain two hundred ability power, or sorry, twenty ability power. It means they, that means their abilities come out a bit quicker. Uh, abilities, I would go over, but eh. Alright, and we're going to create an item here. This is the Hand of Justice. Here's what it does. There you go. Yeah. He's just on here for b a bonus. Until we hit so uh, the other units that we actually want. Oh yeah, and we can buy XP to hit. We can buy XP to level up. So for instance, we just did this, so we're going to remove that there, and we're going to save this hand of justice. Uh, here, oh yeah, I forgot to explain these. These are the hex core augments. These are kind of new to TFT, uh, but they give you certain bonuses, like they're the hunt. So when one of my units kills something, they gain 800, they gain 600 health. So that's healing. They just heal for that much, which is pretty good. Uh... None of this is anything we really want. Although we might try to do this thing called econ, which is us just trying to make economy. 
We're trying to get stronger by making economy. So, yeah, we will do that. We should win here. So there's a winning streak and losing streak. That means that when you win, you gain a gold and you start going on a winning streak. And you get more gold the longer you win. You also, there's also this where you can get interest, have a win loss streak bonus, stuff like that. And I got my my carry, so let's go. We're gonna keep this. This is Kogma. He's a little. He's a mutant, and mutants have different effects based on the game. Sniper, which uh, they gain range and they do more da and they do more damage when there's a, a number of units between them. And twin shot, which does what it says. Uh, Tristana is just a Yordle. She's just important because she, she, she's a, uh, a Yordle. And it makes her comp stronger. Yeah. So they're going to win here, and that's okay. Uh, I do have to sell this, though. Because we're going to try to make economy here. Uh, we're going to throw Kogma onto here. And I believe we're going to put this hand of justice under this Kogma. So we can have a strong. Uh, so we can start winning. Yeah. And we can keep selling these units to make uh, money, which is really good. Uh, we might play this Leona. She's a pretty good unit. But we're going to do this for now. Uh, positioning in t uh, team fight tactics matters a lot. So like with this, this makes it so my Lulu, my this who's an enchanter, is protecting my Tristana and my Kogma. And Poppy is a frontline. I mean, she wants to be up and personal with everyone because she's a tank. So having her there to just tank is pretty good. Each Each unit has a different ability that are either useful or not useful. Uh, I don't feel like going over every single use, but it's fine. No, we're gonna lose a little early, and that's okay. I'm gonna do that to hit level five quickly. What do we want here? So this is the carousel. This just gives us a bunch of item choices. We're gonna take this one because this is the one we want the most. Right now we want a bow, so we can throw onto our Tristana. We could have also taken a chain vest, but right now we want to get Tristana to be pretty strong. So for now, we'll take the bow. We want to start winning just so we don't lose health. Uh, but having the carousel priority does matter because if the lower health you are, the, your, that's where your priority is. So priority for carousel is two, 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 two. So, all right. And we should have that there. All right, we're gonna keep building up our economy. Try to hit certain units. Oh, we have a small chance to hit uh, a purple unit, which is their four costs. And a lot of this the comp that I'm going uh, requires the enchanters. So Tarek, Ter Jana, and Oriana, and this is what enchanters do. Uh, we also want another, a different sniper. whose name is Jin. Uh, his the sniper bonus is displayed here. And uh, we want a couple other units, but we won't get them for a while. But yeah, those are the those are the f like four units we actually want this game, which is the Jin and the and the three enchant and the other three enchanters. Uh, there's probably one or two I'm missing, but it's all right. Yeah. Okay, we're hitting so Yordles. Their bonus is that after every player combat. So every time we're fighting a pl another player, we gain a Yordle. And they go onto our bench, and we it allows us to start gaining things that we need. Uh, this is one of the easiest units. I'd probably say it's the easiest comp to play in the game. But it also uh, falls off, which means that if we hit a certain point, my comp will just lo naturally lose to a lot of other comps. Uh, who's the, what's this guy going? I think this is Assassin's. Yeah, they're going assassins. This, these are their bonuses. I'm too lazy to look. 
Yeah, we're not super strong right now, but it's fine. Uh, our units require a lot of items and us getting those units. So it's all right to be losing early. All right, two-star Tristana. So each unit has a star rating, depending on how. And when you get three of a certain star, they combine into the next stage. Uh, the highest is technically four-star, but the likelihood of you getting a four-star is just... It's a very, very low chance you actually get a four-star. So most games will be you getting a three-star, especially with Yordles. But three-stars are effectively the strongest because they have the most damage, the most health that that unit will have outside of items and stuff like that. Hmm, we're getting some pretty good items here, actually. We actually want uh, this here. This is pretty good right here. This should start winning me the game because Tristana has gotten the Rune on Turricane. She gains extra damage and her attacks fire a bolt at other nearby enemies and they deal 75% of that damage. So, for instance, Tristana has 119 attack damage with Runons and the BF and the big fucking sword. Apolog no apologies for my language, but it allows her to just fire off bolts at other nearby enemies and deal 75% uh, of 119. So Tristana is our, what, what we like to call our carry. So she's gonna, she's here to carry us through the game, to, through rounds. Uh, we're gonna lose here, but it's, f I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose here, but it's fine. It's actually fine for us to lose because we're losing very little HP while doing this. Uh, our comp, wants to hit uh, oh hey 50 uh yeah we want to hit around 50 gold and start rolling a little bit i'm not gonna roll super far down oh and we hit really good units there uh so for now we're gonna yeah we're gonna hit 30 gold and we're gonna just sit we're gonna throw that onto my lulu because it'll be pretty good on Lulu. Yeah, now we have the Enchanter bonus instead of the Sniper bonus. So while we'll do a little less damage, we have a lot of healing now. So our units will start healing a lot more. And that's really good for us, because we want our units to heal. This this comp is designed to just heal. Uh, we can start winning here, I'm pretty sure. Now, so winning in TFT is the first three play... The th the first three places are considered the winners because you're not going to win every game it's it would, otherwise it'd be very hard to climb through the game and stuff so uh let me look at this i'm gonna go with weak spot here maybe not the best but all right i'm gonna quickly swap this out to see where that's at uh that'll be moved over later for now this is where we want our units at uh this is Tarek, and we're gonna throw him in eventually I think I'm gonna do that so my next round I will have leveled up uh, we're gonna tr we're gonna try to rebuild our economy because we kind of ruined it by rolling when we did but it's fine we hit some we hit a good unit and we hit more more Lulus some more Tristanas another Leona stuff like that so we hit the units that we needed to and now we can just sit back and rebuild uh, I leveled, I put, uh, I bought f 4 XP twice, so that's a total of 8 XP, so that means, and we gain 2 XP per round, so I will level up next round. Uh, I might lose this round here, their bonuses are actually pretty good, but if I don't, then that's also good. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I will win here, and it's pretty good to go on a winning streak, because I'll just stop losing health. Uh, right now, I'm securing fourth, and someone has already been eliminated. Normally, eliminations don't happen that quickly, but sometimes people just won't be there. So, you know, it'll happen here and there. Um, yeah, we need Yumi, but we don't. We're not close to hitting Yumi yet. Uh, I 
don't know who I want here. I think I want that that sword. All right, I want the sword, but I don't want it on Tarek, so we're gonna sell this for the, just the sword. I don't really care what anyone else grabs. This is just what we're doing. All right, we want the long sword. We're gonna throw this on. All right, now we're gonna move our units a little bit. So we're gonna wanna position our units, so I mean, in a way where we won't lose immediately. So I think this is how I'm gonna position it for, no, I'm gonna position, yeah, I'm gonna position it like this. I don't remember exactly the positioning on this comp, but we're gonna have to do it the opposite side, just for the, where the social it area is. Uh, social it is display right here. They reveal a spot on the battlefield, the unit standing in that spot line gains damage, mana, or healing. Uh, for us, it'll just be the damage, which is pretty unfortunate for what spot we got, but it's all right. Oh, I'm actually gonna lose here if I don't do this now. So that so I've just hit Death Blade, which means I get Tristana gains more damage the higher what depending on what star she is. Since she's a two star, she gains seventy five. I'm trying to remember my positioning for this. Let's see. So, do, 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 do. Uh, actually, we have pretty damn good positioning right now. I'm pretty okay with. I'm pretty okay with this. Um, we're gonna get this misfortune here, just so we have a sniper for when we can put. Uh, so when for that, the words are hard. So when we can put a level 7 in, when we hit level 7, because we will eventually. Uh, right here is like pretty decent positioning, although I'm going to want to space out my uh, Leona and uh, Poppy a little bit, but it's fine where they're at right now. Because like hitting, uh, right now my focus is just hitting my units. Uh, my Tristana died, that's really bad actually. Uh, but my Lulu lives, so that's fine. That went here. All right. So we're going to want to reposition it like this. Because we want these two spaces open just for Tarek to be able to move. Uh, right here is fine. Uh, our last... The last item we want is uh, we want a Ginsu's Rage Blade, which is a bow and a rod. We want a bow and a rod. If we can hit a bow and a rod, that's really good for us. And we did. So I think we can just win the game off of that. Without getting cocky, I think we can win the game off of that. Uh, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to start rolling here. All right, that's fine. We hit our Oriana, which is another enchanter, and we hit another Janna, which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to Ginsu's Tristana, just to make sure we win combats. Because if we could just keep winning combats, it's really good. And having our units positioned over here is pretty good. Just because of where we're at. Uh, so I threw Warmogs onto Poppy. So she just gains a lot of health off of that. That's all that really happens there. We're going to sell this misfortune here. Because uh, it doesn't look like we're going to hit level 7 anytime soon. So for now, we're just trying to gain economy. It's pretty good. We're going to roll down a little bit. Um. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Boop, boop. All right, 
We're going to go a little under, but that's all right. We hit some pretty good units there. And this is going to help us move into a phase where we just are able to roll. We're able to roll through the game, hopefully. Uh, they went, so this person went f six Yordles. Uh, so I play a lot of Yordles. That's all I really play. Uh, six Yordles isn't any good because you have, it's mainly because of Heimerdinger and Ziggs. Ziggs and Heimerdinger are both really terrible units. Uh, mainly Ziggs. Ziggs is just super trash. Uh, Vex is fine. Heimer is okay-ish. And like Poppies and stuff are like, Poppy, Tristana, and Lulu though are like the three best units in uh, Yordles. So that's why I only go those three when I build Yordles. It is technically preference, but it is just better. All right, so now we hit a three-star, and that's three-star Lulu. It's really good for us, actually. All right, we didn't hit anything else, but that's fine. We hit two-star Tarek and three-star Lulu. So now we have three enchanters. So that should be able to win us the game here. At the very least, I think we'll hit second. We maybe hit first this game because of the healing that I have. Uh, yeah, they've just went Arcanist to Yordles. Does this person went Arcanist to Yordles? Uh, it's not really any good. Because Yordles don't really synergize well with Arcanists. Yeah, uh, like, Yordles synergize with, uh, Enchanters because of the healing. Because Yordles just want to stay alive. So, going Arcanist isn't any good. Yeah, they kind of trolled doing that. Uh, we're just going to keep building up our Econ. We're going to... It's just, uh, I think what we want to do is hit level 8 soon. That's what we want to do, I think, is hit level 8. In order to hit level 8, we need other things to work out for us. We need, uh, I think we're going to take that Cloak of Agility if possible. That's the one thing we want here is that Cloak. Okay, because this makes us a lot of money. This is also a 5-star unit. Uh, Jinx, she has a few bonuses that we really don't care about in our comp, but the thing we care about from Jinx is the money. And it's, a, it's an extra five gold for picking her up. Yeah, like twin shot, scrap, we don't really care. We just want her for the money. And we get the Thieves Glove, which we can throw into someone. Um, I think what we're going to do is going to... All right, we're gonna do this. So he just created the Thieves Glove. So that means when someone has Thieves Glove, they gain two random items, which one can be a one can be a component, or but one will always be a full item. So that's always nice. Uh, that's a Blitz Crank. So he hooked my unit towards him, but uh, that's actually really bad because of the Death Blade. And Thrill of the Hunt, and along with Weak Spot, yeah. I will beat whoever this is. This might just be the person who died. Yeah, I understand why they died. They did not have a great board. Um, I think we try to go for level 8 here. Or sometime soon. We're gonna go for Stan United, because uh, we actually have a lot of traits when we're full build. All right, that's fine. Um, we have a lot of gold here, so. All right, so we gain 14 gold on our next round. Hmm, actually. All right, four enchanters, which are the max amount of enchanters. I know it says five, but that's only if you get like an a enchanter uh, thing from the hex core augments. But outside of that, it's not really a big deal. Um, I believe Oriana goes here in this comp. I'm trying to remember. No, actually, Oriana goes right here. And then we save that spot that's currently open for our gin, which we will eventually hit. Yeah, I've had a lot of. And Arteric got a Gargoyle Stoneplate and a War Mogs. So they're both really tanky. Both of them are. So we have a. And Poppy is, already has War Mogs. So Tarek's tanky there. 
Poppy's tanky there. And, Tris and our Tristana just beats. So. All right. Uh, when is our... Look, 52 gold. Okay. So that's what we're going to go for. Um, we're never hitting 3-star Taric, so I'm going to sell these. We're only keeping these so we can hit 2 stars of each. And we're eventually going to hit 3-star Poppy. I mean, it'll happen. So... We're on a really good winning streak right now, and we want to keep this up. Because if we can keep winning, we will eventually lead into just a w us winning the game. Which is very, very, very nice. Titan's Resolve. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to reforge that to see what I get. Ooh, a locket. That's actually so good. That's actually super good here. Yeah, we really wanted that. Um, 52 gold. Alright, we got our poppy. We have three three stars before anyone else. So I think we can just steamroll into a win. Just because of what we got. We got really good items this game. We're just missing a few things, but honestly, it doesn't really matter, because I think we can just win. Yeah, we can just win here, because of my Tristana. Yeah, I don't know if anyone can beat our comp that we that I want. Alright, we are sitting on a lot of gold here. I'm just going to buy a little bit of experience. Let's see what we can hit here. We're actually going to roll a little longer. Okay. And we're going to roll once more. Cool. All right. So we've hit... We've just hit really good shit here. And I think... I think this might allow us to win. Because we've just hit really good shit here. Uh, they have a Kai'Sa, though. So that is a problem. Kai'Sa's one of the strongest units in the game, being a 5 cost. She does a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter because of our enchanters. Cool. We end... We, I think we win here. Don't we? Yeah, I think we can just win. I don't know if anyone stop us at this point. 44 gold to hit. Next level. Honestly, I might just... We wasted a lot of money doing that, but we just hit two more bonuses. We've already hit level 8, which does matter for our comp. Yeah, hitting us hitting level 8 here, I think actually just... Because Jin's really good. Jin's a very, very strong unit, and I think it wins us this fight. Yeah, this person, I think, gets eliminated here. Yeah, we kill them. Good. Okay. I think we just win because of that. I don't think there's anything else we need. Ooh, we... There's one thing we want here. There's one thing here that's really, really good. And if I get it, they're, they're trolling. Yep, they're trolling. They are 100% trolling. They give me an Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is a busted... Now, I know some of you don't know what Infinity Edge does, so I'll explain. Infinity Edge makes it so that they my unit gains 75% crit chance, but every time they gain crit chance above 100%, and they, they do extra damage with their crits. So, for a unit like Jin, who has a fixed fire rate, but whenever he gains attack speed, it'll be transferred into attack damage. And Infinity Edge is really good here. Uh... We can actually kind of like ruin our economy here and it won't punish us because of how far ahead we are. Uh, us ruining our economy doesn't really matter as much as it would for any other units. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no one can stop us because of our healing. We just heal too much. Uh, right here, I think what we're gonna do is just rebuild our economy and attempt to hit Jin, our last Jin. We're also gonna try to hit the, uh, our Yumi, because Yumi, because Yumi's a really good unit, and we really don't need this Leona. Like Leona's just kind of just been sitting here. We don't need Leona though. Our comp does not need Leona. <clears throat> Let's just see if we hit anything. Yeah, we done. Because if we hit a Yumi there, I was totally going to sell Leona and just throw on the Yumi. But we didn't hit her. That's fine. I don't know if anyone can actually beat us. Let's see, what's the next thing? Chemtech Drake? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if anyone has the items to beat us at the moment. I think we just hit a level of where we're too strong. Yeah, we're too strong. No one can really beat us. I'll just say GG because I think I win. Yeah, I don't know if a single person can beat us where we're at. Cool. We hit our best unit. And alright, we have hit our in-game comp. We no longer care about our economy. The only thing that makes this comp better is if we hit two more Yumi's. Which is a 5%, it's a 5% chance to hit a Yumi. So that's very unlikely. I put fire cannon. That's pretty decent. Uh, we don't really want this Kaisa, to be honest. So, boop. Yeah, don't hit anything there. It's fine. We just throw this on Jin, who just gained a lot of attack damage from that. And he can even hit from further away. Yeah, we have hit our endgame comp. Uh, I'm going to reposition slightly, just so my backline's protected. Yeah, I can win the game off of this. Yeah, hello, person. You have hit a very bad Warwick. All right. There we go. Yeah, no one can beat us at this point. We're too strong. They don't die there, but I've hit the point where I just can't lose anymore. Really, all we're looking for is our last Yumi, or is our last two Yumis. That's all we really want at this point. I can eliminate uh, this last person, though. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good game. We have won the game here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to try out TFT, it's on mobile as well, along with PC. Um, you can add me if you want. We can play together. Yeah. This is what happens when nobody challenges me. And nobody did. Nobody went for the units that I wanted. My Jin got hit here, but I don't think it matters. I think I just have too much healing. Yeah. The rest of my he units will just heal too much. Yeah. Good game. Good game. We completely destroyed them. Yep. All right, well, that was our victory. And let me just pull up our League of Legends screen. Yep, these, this was our, uh, this was our win. We did pretty damn well here. I'm gonna screenshot this later. But yeah, we did pretty damn well this today. And I'm actually very proud of how this went. All right, I'm gonna end the recording here. It's about 33 minute episode for our Friday episode. And yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all later. Bye-bye now.